I never thought I'd see the day that Tom Destry's son would be the laughing stock of the whole town. Oh, look that bad? Why, you won't be able to stick your nose out the door without everybody hooting at you. Well, if everyone wants to hoot, let them hoot. Well, you won't be hearing it. I told Mrs. Callahan you won't be needing this room. You're leaving on the next coach. Well, I, I sort of like it here, Wash. Ah. How are you supposed to face anybody out there after what you took from Kenton Frenchy? Well, what did you expect me to do? I expected you to be like your pa, coming a-blasting behind shooting irons. And then what happened? You didn't have any! Why? Well, I don't believe in them. That's one thing. Huh? You did the last time I heard about you. What in tarnation's come over you since then? Well, Wash, my dad wore these on that day down in Tombstone, but he got shot in the back. Didn't seem to do him much good, did they? That's one reason I don't believe in them. What well, what in tarnation do you believe in? Law and order. Without guns? Without them. Well, if that don't be all let go. <sighs> oh, Tom. The reason they made me sheriff is because I was the town drunk. They wanted someone to kick around, someone who wouldn't ask questions. But I was aiming to fool them. Do things right, sending for you. But now, you fooled me. Oh, you will fool them, Wash. We'll fool them together. The only way to do that is to fill them full of lead. No, 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 no. What, what for? You shoot it out with them, and for some reason or other, I don't know, they get to look like heroes. But you put them behind bars, and they look little and cheap the way they ought to look. And it serves as a warning to the rest of them to keep away. Oh, that won't work here in Bottleneck. Now, now, you go on home, and I'll go back to being the town drunk. That's all I'm good for. Now, you're not going back to being the town drunk, and I'm going to stay here and do the job I come for. And if I don't prove to you that I'm right, I'll get out of town quick enough, don't you worry. But first, you got to give me a chance, Wash. No, 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 you got to give me a chance on this thing. Now, come on. Swear me in, Sheriff. Well, raise your right hand. <sighs> now, do you, Thomas Jefferson Destry, swear to uphold the law, serve your office, and do your duty and everything that comes with it? I do. <sighs> Here's your badge. And don't let anybody see it. Without guns. Hey, folks. Now, I know this was supposed to be a scene from a quote-unquote western film, and this is clearly not western attire. Uh, that's mainly because I don't own a cowboy hat or anything else that would go in some outfit like that, but I felt I should be wearing something more period-appropriate like this old 50s-style hat and this shirt, although I am wearing an Angry Birds shirt. So it's kind of a mishmash thing. Anyway, hope you liked this little bit of a more familiar impersonated voice. And next time, I think we're going to be getting around to doing a, an impression of an anime for a change. Uh, so be on the lookout for that one next.